Welcome back. Um, we've gotten the phone number of Wolfgang Ritter from Grace, and he claimed to be our uh, relative, which is possible, considering we know we are related to uh, some people called Ritter. Of course, that is a relatively common German uh, surname, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but still, why else would he be calling us? So, um, let's call him back. Of course, normally you would have to dial like 00 or some kind of access code to uh, make an international call, but um, it's a game, so we don't have to. 4909324333. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht? I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Ja, einen Moment. Ja, ist es Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I have been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had senses, uh, feelings about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I had a sense that Heinz had a grandson, but until these dreams started, I, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Yes. Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know, Gabriel. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersberg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. Well, I'm pretty busy. Please, Gabriel, you are the last of our line. I am too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. That was a weird conversation. This guy's been having premonitions and dreams. Are they anything like Gabriel's dreams? Well, that doesn't really matter because as Gabriel said, we cannot afford to fly to Germany anyway. Also, our family has a castle, Schloss Ritter. Swanky. Must be rich. Well, I guess we just have to wait for that package from him to arrive. Then we'll see what to do about that. For the time being, let's uh, move on. There's a couple of things uh, we want to do today. Particularly... Um, Mosley said they were interrogating a subject, uh, a suspect. And there's a lecture at Tulane University. And we need to uh, see if we can uh, talk to Madame Kazanou. And if the poem is any indication, we should also go to the Napoleon House and the uh, cemetery today. So this will be quite a busy day. See you later. See ya. That's uh, the Kazunu residence, indicated there by um, a icon representing Castro, I think. And um, on the larger map, we now have Tulane University, which is an actual university in uh, New Orleans. And a name that Sierra fans might already know from another game. However, first up, I want to go and see Mosley and his suspect. Because that sounded interesting. Hopefully, the suspect is still there. Yes, your hair is okay, Gabriel. You son of... 
Give me back my badge. Now, Knight! Sure. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Yeah? Well, you borrow it again in your history. Now, about today. Glad you made it. It'll give you a feel for how I am in action. You know, handling suspects, that sort of thing. I'm sure it'll be invigorating. Uh, who is this guy, anyway? Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. Well, he's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning to Jackson Square. Pushing coke? He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Detective's Instinct. <laughs> Got it. All right, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. You've been present at the so-called voodoo ritual? I don't know nothing. Like I told you. Come on now, you can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look. Look I, I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go, man. Now you relax. No one knows you're here. The men who picked you up were plain clothesmen. Plain clothes? Like you could fool them. <laughs> they know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They know everything. Now who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go! If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. Now you tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you in the witness protection program. But you have to earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Don't make me laugh. Jesus, just let me out of here. Now come on, who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the Underworld? By now they know I'm here. I mean, it's, it's different when I'm supposed to come here. What well, if I can send a message? Tell them I didn't say nothing. Crash, he's freaking useless. Take him back to detain him, would you, Tony? What's he so afraid of? Very peculiar. I tell you, times like this I'd kill for true serve and damn the civil rights. Can I quote you on that? Huh? Hell no. Damn! We only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. Yeah, for the book, I mean. Maybe you can punch it up some. You know. What do they call that? Fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's nice that you sat down, but we don't really have uh, anything to say to uh, Mosley today, I think. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. I guess we could ask him about the case status. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? It sure as hell ain't going well. There's a lot of breaks being applied in different areas of the investigation. We're getting some real info on the victims now, and they're not exactly upstanding citizens. And I was hoping to get more out of Crash, but he's scared shitless. We'll have to let him go tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's not very helpful, I think. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? I told you, it's going for shit. Pretty much. Um, I guess we could ask him about Marie Laveau and animal masks, although I doubt he'll be much help. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Is she that red-headed chick that works at Freddy's? Uh, no. Then I don't know her. Not quite. Do you know anything about animal masks? Animal? You mean like those Halloween masks they sometimes use in robberies? I don't think so. More like real animals. Never ran across anything like that. I think that's about it. Well, I'll be seeing you. Have a good one. And I actually remembered something else that we uh, have to do today, besides the uh, huge list of things I already mentioned.
which is go back to Jackson Square and see if that architect is ready with the drawing of the symbols that we uh, gave him. Well, he is here at least, so hopefully he'll be done. How's it going today? What? Oh, it's only you. Man, I have been jumpy all day. That, that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow, this is great. Uh-huh. Just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it, and good luck. Well, I wasn't planning on blowing up any planets today. But you never know. The night is young. Let's take a look at it. That is... interesting. I have no idea what it means, but it is interesting. The artist's reconstruction of the voodoo murder's pattern looks accurate to Gabriel. Something about it seems vaguely familiar and creepy. Well, um... Let's hope we uh, can find out more about it now that we have the full pattern. And while we're here, let's see if there's anything else new going on here. After all, this guy showed up quite quickly. Uh, quite unexpectedly uh, yesterday. So maybe someone else will have shown up today. And what do you know? Someone has. It's almost as if I knew that. Madame Lorelei, the fortune teller, is garbed in a belly dancer's outfit and wears a boa around her neck. A real boa. More snakes. A boa constrictor. Come on, boys. Hoopla. Ooh. The hell? What's going on here? Dancing. You know what? I feel like joining her. Not a bad idea. Ooh, 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 baby, I love the way you move. Madame Lorelei winks knowingly at Gabriel and twitches her head. Yep, she wants me. Um, is this turning into a strip show? Nope. Thanks, boys. Good thing that snake stayed there. She dropped her veil! Well, we'll see, uh... what the deal is with this Madame Lorelei, the fortune teller, in the next video.